It's a huge mistake. High volume routers make other zone two days that might be destroying your progress. If you're a high volume router, you might be running your easy days too fast. Recent research shows that even small increases in your pace or speed can lead to exponentially more muscle damage. Running just a few minutes faster than a true easy pace for you might actually double the recovery demands on your muscle. This can then lead to your legs feeling dead during your important hard workouts. Elite runners like Kipchoge spend 80% or more of their training in zone two, not because it leads to some magical training adaptations. It's because zone two comes with such little muscle damage that allows them to be fresh for their hard track days. These track days and your faster run often come with muscle damage, which takes the longest to recover from. This muscle repair process can take up to two to three days, if not longer. Therefore, it's important you keep your zone two days in between your quality sessions truly easy so your body can recover before your next high quality fast day. Steal this elite marathon runner playbook. Have two or three faster, longer, high quality run sessions throughout your week. And then in between those, have truly easy days. Remember, keep these easy days truly easy. It should feel like a four to 10. You should be able to talk in complete sentences. And I like it to be even a few minutes slower than your goal marathon pace.